Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Here we have the Jelly Star. This is the red version. There's also a um, blue version. Uh, you have a kind of like a hardware tour. It's a very tiny device. Uh, let me compare it to a Pixel 6 um, that actually just broke. This was my work phone uh, that I had to use for work. And as you see right here, it has a massive screen and you probably could fit two Jelly Stars into this device, um, which will reduce your usage just because you know the screen is so small that it's not as pleasant to use. This is running Android 13, so it's pretty up to date uh, when it comes to the version of Android. Uh, and of course, you have the ability to install any apps that you need. Uh, as you see, I have installed different apps, and after this video, I'll probably delete a bunch of them <laughs> because I don't need them. I just want to kind of like showcase a range of apps that you can install. And you can install even more like launchers and change it, you know, whichever ways that you're into in order to minimize your usage. Uh, this has become my work phone uh, for the past two weeks uh, since my uh, other device broke. And of course, it does have extra features like the LED lights, uh, which turn on when you have a notification and also when you're playing music. Uh, let me see if I can play something here. Uh, very low volume so that the LED lights do come. There it is. And as you can see right there, you know, it, it kind of goes with the beat and whatnot. So um, that's essentially what it does. Um, and you have the ability to use transit. You have the ability to use uh, essentially anything you want. It does have a flashlight button or a customizable button as well. Uh, and it's pretty nice. Uh, the camera is uh, nothing to rave, but I'll definitely put a picture so you guys can evaluate. And of course, I will uh, put here the things that you always ask. Uh, but this being a smartphone, I think you know that everything is available. Um, you know, every app or every service that you may need. This has the Google Play Store, so you can literally just go into the Google Play Store and download anything that you actually need. So it's kind of like the, the concept that I want to talk about today is not necessarily the functionality of the phone, uh, even though that's, you know, pretty good. Uh, but essentially why you should get a very small mini smartphone. So a lot of you always say in the comments, what about QR codes? What about WhatsApp? What about, you know, all of these different things? Um, I need this. I need that. Um, so here, let me just add a phone number, fake one. And here's how you text, you know, and as you see right here, I'm doing it one handed. Um, and it's perfectly doable. You also have voice to text as well to use your text messages and you know I will copy and do everything like a regular smartphone so it will not be any issues you can put R RCS te uh, texting here as well um, and a different app so for example I have beeper there that gives me all of my chats uh, everywhere uh, but essentially the device what I like is that because of the tiny screen you're not going to really use it and this has been translating for me very well especially for work um, you know usually before uh, work for for work I used to maybe spend about two three hours just because of messaging and like you know sometimes using different things but now it's even less I mean like um, and I've been very pleased with that so I'll showcase like the, the first day I set it up was about two weeks ago um, August 31st uh, so two hours 26 minutes that was like setup day and like you know getting used to like different things and then the next day two hours two minutes as you see i have some zoom right there <laughs> that's really honestly what um most of it is right like you know when i when i'm using um the work phone you know i, I need to use zoom so boom right there zoom uh, then the next day two hours which i did spend a lot playing chess that day um even on this tiny screen but after that it's like an hour an hour 15 an hour 14 an hour seven uh, this one is actually 33 minutes of transit, the app. Um, I was uh, kind of like going back and forth in between different areas, 38 minutes of transit. I mean, as you see, like most of my usage is like either chess, <laughs> which I love. It's a, a very entertaining game and it kind of keeps me active. It's kind of like a hobby for me um, when I'm not at actually playing chess with other people in person. Um, but... <clears throat> Essentially, uh, all of the other stuff is like Zoom meetings, you know, and things like that. Uh, yesterday, I had a, a meeting on Google Meet right there, 25 minutes. So out of the an hour and 30 minutes, I'm actually, you know, 25 minutes are in meetings and things I actually have to do. But because this screen and is so small, I'm not really tempted to use it uh, that much. Uh, I mean, today it's been 11 minutes and actually most of it was because I had to check uh, a couple things. Uh, for work and for things to, to work out. I traveled with this phone uh, to San Diego 
and it work uh, very reliably no issues again it's very a very good device very snappy i believe it has about eight gigs of ram or something like that um <clears throat> i'm not one to you know kind of look into everything uh, for the specs but you know it's it's a very good device and it's very snappy and it runs pretty much everything i mean right there cash app i have m stream i have podcasting apps um right here and you can customize it whichever way you want i mean again it's just essentially what you're looking for and it has all the functionality of a smartphone but because it's so small you're going to reduce your usage and of course you can go even one step further so i'll showcase uh, just a configuration that i think can help a lot of you as you go to download you know kind of like a simple launcher let's see simple launcher right there um i think it's not this one no this is not the one I'm trying to get the one that is like kind of like text space so it's text launcher probably text and as you see texting is not horrible because it does have the capacitive screen so right there text launcher um if you install it this is not probably the prettiest launcher that that is for for, for these purposes but i'm just so kissing something that you can do when you launch it right there you go you have all your apps and a wallpaper and that's pretty much it and honestly this is not very pleasing to 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 use because you don't have the icons so it's going to again reduce your usage even further you can put this on grayscale mode you can uninstall all the apps that you need and i think it's a good alternative i think it's a good phone i mean instead of using <clears throat> a massive screen device like this one uh, you use a very small one or of course you know you have another alternative uh, here you have a chin f21 which is another possibility uh, that you could use is uh, you have about you know the same screen but of course you also have the buttons that you can kind of rely on for uh, different services and, and, and opportunities uh, and these will run pretty pretty similarly of course the chin is a little bit better when it comes to the slimness but again i i really think it's a good device and i really think that uh, you should take a look into it because uh, it's relatively inexpensive compared to a smartphone. It's about $200. It does have the LEDs, which are a gimmick. It's not really a, a big feature, uh, but I think it's it's a good device. I think it, it can get the job done and it can help you reduce your screen time. So if you have any questions about this device or any of the other devices, please let me know and I'll be interacting with you guys in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, I will be keeping this device uh, for uh, more testing purposes, but definitely it's going to become one of my daily drivers uh, for usage and for um, for work. That's, that is, of course, I still have my light phone, uh, which is a completely different philosophy, but that's for personal and that's when I disconnect and don't have any work to do where I go on vacation. But whenever you have work to do or stuff that you need to do, this is a good compromise. And I think, uh, especially if you have a work that requires a lot of smart apps, this can be excellent because it doesn't give you a whole um, of opportunity with a big screen to enjoy your latest shows or different things. You're literally listening to things or looking things very quickly on the fly that you may need information on. So it's a good alternative. Hope uh, it helps you. And uh, hopefully, you know, we'll be cycling through these different devices and uh, seeing what's best for me. But, you know, always look at what's best for you and the different resources that I have had. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.